hello everyone welcome to the class in this video i am going to explain about stark enamine reaction and its synthetic applications enamines are very important synthetic intermediates which are very useful for the formation of cc bond in organic synthesis before going to discuss about this enamines let us discuss about alpha alkylation or acylation to carbonyl compounds let us take an unsymmetrical carbonyl compound that is 2 methyl cyclohexanone which is unsymmetrical carbonyl compound the treatment of this compound with the base and acid halide which produces two different type of products a mixture of products one is 2 acetyl 6 methyl cyclohexanone and one more is 2 acetyl 2 methyl cyclohexanone so if you observe these two products the first product the acylation happened in this product at less substituted side and in the second one the acylation happened at the more substituted side so the mixture of products generally you can observe by the treatment of carbonyl compounds with the base during alpha alkylation or acylation to carbonyl compounds so what are the issues we face in this alpha alkylation or acylation process that is non regio selective reactions you observed a mixture of alkylated or acylated products that means there is no regio selectivity and one more is when you use this base there are two different type of bases we can observe that is weak base and a strong base so during the reaction you may observe the self condensation possibility this was discussed in earlier video that is basics of enolate or asymmetric aldol reaction so how to avoid these issues during the alpha alkylation or acylation to carbonyl compounds in order to avoid these issues first you have to convert the carbonyl compounds to intermediate compounds like enolates enamines etc this enolates concept we have discussed in the earlier videos now we are going to discuss about the enamines in this video let us come to the enamines what are enamines the name itself indicates that en plus amines that means amines are connected to en a double bond so they can call as vinyl amines or alpha beta unsaturated amines that means you can observe this enamine there is the presence of alpha beta unsaturation alpha beta unsaturation to this amine so that this is called alpha beta unsaturated amines are also called as enamines what is the use of this enamines in organic synthesis so these enamines are synthetic intermediates which are very useful for the formation of cc bond by acting as nucleophiles how they are acting as nucleophiles like enolates enamines also act as a nucleophile if you observe the mechanism here the lone pair of electrons on this nitrogen atom they push towards this bond so that the pi electrons the pi electrons alpha beta unsaturated position pi electrons shifted towards the carbon onto this carbon so that you will expect a electron rich carbon at beta position which is to nitrogen so this species enamine species act as a nucleophile because of the presence of electron rich at the beta position 
using this enamines stark and co-workers widely they utilized in organic synthesis to form cc bonds in reactions therefore these reactions are called as stark enamine reactions so enamines which acts as a nucleophiles which is similar to enolates so enamines can be used as synthetic equivalents as enolates in many reactions the concept of this enolates basics of enolates we have discussed in the previous video let us see this enolate enolate also has a nucleophilic carbon this also can involve in nucleophilic additions or nucleophilic substitution reactions in organic synthesis whereas the same enamine also has a nucleophilic carbon so that this also can involve in the nucleophilic addition and the nucleophilic substitution reactions both these synth synthetic equivalents are very helpful in the organic synthesis process then what are the advantages of this enamines over the enolates though we have enolates which are very helpful for the formation of cc bond in organic synthesis why are you preferring this enamines because the advantages of these enamines over the enolates are these enamines enamines are neutral okay they are not charger species like uh, enolate and they can prepare easily and we can also prevent the over reactions which generally occur with the enolates so what are all over reactions we are expecting from the enolates can be avoided using enamines so these are the advantages of enamines over the enolates generally we are using in organic synthesis after understanding the advantages of this enamines over the enolates let us discuss about the generation of enamines that means how to generate this enamines the process is simple that is acid catalyzed condensation of carbonyl compounds with the secondary amines especially in presence of dehydrating agent such as potassium carbonate generally produce enamine which is alpha beta unsaturated amine the commonly used secondary amines in this generation of enamines are pyrrolidin generally we use the pyrrolidin morpholin and piperidin etc but you have to prefer secondary amines for the formation of enamines always so this is the process of generating enamines in the laboratories that is acid catalyzed condensation of carbonyl compound with the secondary amine in presence of dehydrating agent for example if we take cyclohexanone cyclohexanone treat with the pyrrolidin pyrrolidin in presence of acid followed by dehydrating agent that is potassium carbonate which produces enamine or alpha beta unsaturated amine which is an important source of nucleophile the mechanism involved in this generation of enamines generally proceeds through the formation of intermediate that is imenium ion this imenium ion which loses the proton from the beta position which is to the nitrogen which results the formation of a double bond between this alpha beta carbon so how this mechanism is happening let us discuss so generally the reaction is the cyclohexanone treat with pyrrolidin in presence of acid followed by dehydrating agent potassium carbonate which produces the required enamine let us discuss about the mechanism in the reaction first of all cyclohexanone gets protonated by this acid what is the reason behind this protonation 
is to make a strong electrophilic carbonyl carbon once you make this strong electrophilic carbonyl carbon now you can start the reaction by treating this nucleophile this nucleophile attack at this electrophilic center which gives you alpha hydroxy amine now the loss of the water which gives you eminium eminium ion eminium ion which is an intermediate so all these reactions are reversible reactions now the proton presented the beta position will be abstracted by the one more mole of pyrrolidine okay abstract by this pyrrolidine and the loss of this proton at the beta position which is to nitrogen generates our required alpha beta unsaturated amine which is also called as enamine so this is the mechanism so the first step is protonation protonation of this carbonyl compound to make more electrophilic carbonyl carbon followed by the nucleophile pyrrolidine attack at this carbonyl carbon then the loss of water gives you eminium ion followed by the loss of proton at the beta position to the nitrogen gives you alpha beta unsaturated amine suppose the same reaction if you carried out with the primary amine what will be the product so generally the condensation of this carbonyl compound with the primary amines generally they gives you amines are major products whereas in the case of secondary amines we are getting enamines are the stable products which are major see the mechanism generally start with the condensation of this condensation of this but before condensation first the nucleophilic attack with the electrophilic carbon of this carbonyl carbon gives you amine ol okay amine ol so followed by the loss of water generally gives you amine there are two possibilities possibilities for the losing proton either from the nitrogen or carbon so here the favorable loss of proton is from the from this position which is nitrogen attached proton so the loss of this proton generally generates amine this amine generally like it undergo like a keto enol tautomerism that means it is undergoing enamine enamine tautomerism amine enamine tautomerism and gives you enamine for example if you observe this equilibrium but this equilibrium completely shift towards the amine that means when you treat this carbonyl compound with the primary amine the amine is more stable product over the enamine that is the reason in the case of generation of enamines we are preferring secondary amines over the primary amines so far we have discussed about the enamines and how to generate the enamines in organic synthesis next we are going to discuss about the synthetic applications of enamines why these enamines have synthetic applications because these enamines are a source of nucleophiles so that they can involve in different kind of reactions such as nucleophilic substitution or nucleophilic addition reactions so that means enamines are having wide applications in organic synthesis let us start the discussion of the synthetic applications of enamines with the alkylation 
The alkylation process with this enamines are also called as stark enamine reaction. So what is stark enamine reaction? That means the attacking of this nucleophilic this nucleophilic carbon in the enamine to an electrophilic center okay so that is generally called as stark enamine reaction so so this is enamine this enamine is a source of nucleophile so this carbon has nucleophile this attacking of this nucleophile to an electrophilic carbon electrophilic center is called as stark enamine reaction so in this stark enamine reaction that means alkylation or azylation so what kind of process or what kind of steps involved let us discuss about that so let us take a simple example for this alkylation that is cyclohexanone treat with pyrrolidin in presence of acid followed by dehydrating agent and then treat with methyl iodide followed by hydrolysis so now this gives you alpha alkylation that is 2 methyl cyclohexanone so how what how many steps involved in this alkylation process so the steps are the first step is this carbonyl compound reacts with this pyrrolidin in presence of acid followed by dehydrating agent which gives you enamine that means the first step involved in this is preparation of enamine okay that means we generated a nucleophile here indirectly the second step is addition of this nucleophile to this electrophile that means the second step is attacking of nucleophile on to electrophile so what is happening in the process is alkylation okay once alkylation over once you get this alkylated enamine then do the hydrolysis to get your substituted carbonyl compound so these kind of steps generally involved in this alkylation process so let us start the mechanism for the reaction so what happens now you are treating the cyclohexanone with the pyrrolidin under acidic conditions under dehydrating with the dehydrating agent as we know which produces enamine this enamine is a nucleophilic source at this beta position now treat with the methyl iodide where the carbon in this methyl is attached to more electronegative atom so that this carbon gets positive charge so that this involves in nucleophilic substitution reactions one nucleophile that is one nucleophile iodide is substituting by or replacing by one more nucleophile so now the nucleophilic attack takes place back at the electrophilic center so in SN2 manner okay that means simultaneous attack of this nucleophile simultaneous expulsion of the leaving group gives you the substituted medium ion once work work done 
do the hydrolysis of this aluminium ion and get your substituted cyclohexanone so that means what are you doing here you are doing hydrolysis so totally we follow three steps step one is here in the step one the formation of enamine step two alkylation happened in a sent manner and step three hydrolysis of this aluminium gives you yes substituted carbonyl compound so what kind of mechanism involved in this hydrolysis process once you have a substituted aluminium ion this has a positive that means quaternary nitrogen which is near a positive charge on nitrogen so that treat this with the water which attack at this electrophilic carbon amine carbon also electrophilic carbon alpha hydroxy I mean followed by the loss of pyrrolidin is your substituted or alkylated cyclohexanone so this is all about the mechanism involved in the stark enamine reaction that means alkylation of carbonyl compounds via enamines Let us discuss the other example in this alkylation process by taking monoalkylation process here. Take okay, again cyclohexanone, treat with pyrrolidin under acidic condition followed by dehydrating agent and then treat with. followed by hydrolysis so all these three steps involved in stark enamine process gives you the required monoalkylated product so the mechanism involved in this is as you know the first step is the formation of enamine by treating with pyrrolidin under acidic condition followed by dehydrating agent that is potassium carbonate which gives you enamine which is the best nucleophilic source now use nucleophile back at this electrophilic center so this is electrophilic center This is aluminium ion. This aluminium ion followed by hydrolysis gives you a required alkylated product. So this is the example for monoalkylation process with the mechanism.
see stark in him in the action works well with the allel halides or benzyl halides compared to alkyl halide so the reactivity in this alkylation the reactivity of al uh, halides organo halides in this stark in him reactions is the reaction of allyl halides or benzyl halides are more reactive to them alkyl halides so we can also observe di alkylation process in this stark in him reaction how you can see here so same thing start this reaction by taking a cyclohexanone with the treating with the ferrolidin under acidic condition with the dehydrating agent followed by take two moles of allyl halide for example i'm taking allyl bromide then do the hydrolysis which gives you a di alkylated product okay the alkyl product so the mechanism is simple step one is the formation of enamine with these reagents that is pyrrolidin condition followed by dehydrating agent which gives you a nucleophilic source that is enamine now this enamine is ready for reacting with the electrophilic center and center manner back at this electrophile gives you A mono alkylated aluminium ion. Now you have another proton. This uh, less substituted site, and this can be abstracted by again base by spirulidin. This proton can be abstracted by base. Gives you unwritten reversal. It gives you again another intermediate that is enamine. Again, this enamine can treat with the second mole of allyl halide. This nucleophile attack at this second position. Let me say the top is the top position. And gives you di substituted aluminium. Once you do hydrolysis of this aluminium, which gives you di alkylated product. Okay, this is di alkylated product. So in the next video, we are going to discuss about the cyclization involved in the Sarkinamine reaction and the azylation reaction and the Michael addition reaction, which is the continuation of this Sarkinamine synthetic applications.